So, what do texts, tweets, short stories, fan fiction, TV scripts, and this lovely book all have in common? They're all valid forms of writing. For whatever reason, writing comes off as this big concept that people don't realize they do every single day. Now maybe they don't think they're effective writers, maybe they don't think they're good writers, whatever. But truly everybody writes in some capacity. Whether it's writing an Instagram caption, whether it's typing out a 3,000 word article, whether it's writing a 200 page novel, it's all writing. It's all valid. Because at the end of the day, you're conveying a message. That's what writing does. That's why it doesn't really matter how you do it per se, or if you use a certain amount of words. Just the fact that you're doing it in the first place makes it valid. When you train someone to think that their voice, their words, their thoughts are relevant or invalid because they don't come out in a standardized fashion, that's training someone to think that they are relevant, invalid, all that jazz. And that's not acceptable. We can talk about messages all day long. We can talk about whether they're effective, ineffective, whatever. Just because they're posting something on Instagram instead of the New York Times, just because it's on a fanfiction website instead of being published at Barnes & Noble. At the end of the day, not only is that completely not copacetic, that attitude needs to change, which is why this video is being made in the first place. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment, all that jazz. But one other thing before I say my normal catchphrase. Do you like food? If you enjoy food channels and want to learn more about really fun facts about food and just get to understand that whole subject more, hit up your channel. It's awesome. Very funny, very hilarious, very considerate. You won't regret it. In any case, as always, have a lovely day and stay awesome.